Bastien Renoui talks us through. After weeks of debates, Somalia's MPs decided to change the constitution. The key amendments are in the first four chapters of the transitional constitution. They include uh, freedom of expression, uh, women's representation. They even change the electoral system. The next presidential election in Somalia should be on a one-person, one-vote basis, which wasn't the case till now, mainly for security reasons, because the terrorist organization Al-Shabaab is still targeting the federal uh, government. In a joint statement, the international community, which includes the uh, African Union, the United States, the United Kingdom, uh, said that they acknowledged uh, the intention of the federal government to make progress in finalizing its uh, constitution. But not everyone is happy with these changes, mainly in Somalia, in the Puntland region. It's a semi-autonomous uh, state located in the northern part of Somalia. The local government published a statement saying that Puntland will have the power of a full independent government until there is a federal system of government agreed upon, a constitution agreed by Somalis and approved through a referendum in which uh, Spuntland is part of. So what's going to happen next? It's impossible to say so far. The president of the federal uh, government, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, is yet uh, to comment this uh, situation.